its best indeed. The Hockey Club Union here in the Netherlands, in Molden, are treated to a second day of action as the Netherlands men and Argentina men take to the green pitch once more. Of course, we saw some fantastic matches last weekend between the Orania women and the Lionesses of Argentina. Yesterday, Netherlands raced into a 5-0 lead with four debutants. Argentina may have come back at them, but they still were on the wrong end of a 5-2 loss. Rustin Magaio. Centria caps to his name. Welcome along to the hockey club of Union in Malden, in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, the drive into the circle. Now, Argentina have to be very, very careful indeed here. And Van Heinegen with the first shot from them. Thomas Domenic into the circle. He goes, good, clever ball in. Where's that gone? It's gone wide, but off a deflection. Oh, it's a great touch in the end of the, this bit of play from Pierman Black as it comes in, little pot reverse. Mazzilli gets underneath it, and then Pierman Black gets a shoulder on this, comes off his upper body, up and away. Good goalkeeping. What a ball that was in to the circle. Now, opportunity for Aero, and it's in the roof. What a finish. Martin Ferrero, two in two days. He just took it away from his body slightly and roofed it. A fine finish from an exceptional talent. And Argentina it is in the second quarter that get the opening goal. The ball into the circle was absolute genius from Mazzilli in the first place. Slight manoeuvre. Oh, and it all went wrong. The last bout. Now Yip Janssen offloads. Very good finish, but it's above the backboard from Jonas de Guz, and it was a slap, not a flick. And it was the first shot, therefore Dan Barsto disallows it. Oh, it's gone. Now, this is this is a real fine detail. It's gone outside the dotted line, but I don't know currently what that reference point oh, is. Yes. Does it mean, I think, if it's gone five yards, the corner is over? I have a decision for you. It, it was outside the dotted lines, so therefore you may award a goal. And that is very clinical from the Dutch indeed. Really well done. That'll go down as a field goal, which will be his fourth field goal of his career. Well, that was why I wondered if the... Oh, oh. An absolute humdinger from the left-hand side. It's Steen van Heunigen. And that is a goal of sheer quality on the reverse stick. No wonder your own tell me is smiling. So, however, incredible as a player in the outcomes of his career. Oh, and it's in again. And I think it's Ben, it is Ben. It's come off. And he's on the score sheet again. And the Netherlands have gone three in under three. Del Toller not happy. The Dutch delighted. Because here they've gone from 1-0 down to 3-1 up in two and a half minutes. Well, it's unfortunate. Del Toller, is, he's so disappointed because he's missed that little bobbling ball. Last box defender at the top of the circle, really with what a great bit of skill that is. Absolute genius. On the reverse, Matthias Ray misses it. Simon Mason was almost up out of his chair if that had been oh, connected with. Absolutely brilliant. That's where I just wanted him to finish it, genuinely. Peters will get another bite of the cherry down the right hand side. That's very well offloaded. The fielder couldn't put it away. Very nearly a goal steeped in class between Peters and De Vilder. The quality of that one-two in the build-up, particularly the second ball from Terence Peters as he just pumps it, punches it back into De Vilder. Knocked them all down the line. The Dutch women will hope to win another World Cup. Is this a defensive touch? And then the goalkeeper was because Peters is right down on that far post. Touch, save, pad and stick. Where they would have hoped to somehow make it towards the top of the standings. They won't do so. Now Perlin Blog saves well and it's a free out given. 
As Taradzona couldn't keep it on the pitch. However, it's hit pin and black right where it hurts to finish. Thank you very much for your final touch of the game. Well, at the end of this one in the FA Pro League, Netherlands 3, Argentina 1. And it was two and a half minutes that made the difference. Jonas Daguz on the score sheet. Bajan and Van Heinemann as well as they race back.